by her sister, Bree. And now, a great big Kids Street welcome for your host, Kevin Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Kids Street. Guys, tell me, why does a bald-headed man have no longer any use for keys? Because he's lost all his locks. <laughs> Are you hoping one of these teams is going to win today's grand prize? Yeah! Well, before they do, I think Kathy's got something to say. Kathy? Here it is, Kevin. Today's grand prize is the exciting Nintendo action set, a power jet hockey game, a radio-controlled Sunrunner speedboat, a slimline telephone, matching Furio sports tots, a Bushnell 1200 power microscope kit, a $200 gift certificate from Toys and Wheels, and Super Cycle Mountain Bikes, one for each of our winners. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Kathy. All right, teams, we've sent half of your team backstage. They're not going to hear your answers. They are going to try to match them when they get back. Let's get some answers from you guys right now. And Lenore, we'll start with you. Where will Stephen say you were born? Quebec. Where? Quebec. You were born in Quebec. All right, over to the green team. Neil, where will Gordon say you were born? Winnipeg. Winnipeg. And down to the blue team. Kasia, where will Bree say you were born? I think Bree will say I was born in Canada. Can I have something a little more specific than, than a two million square foot continent? Calgary. Calgary, all right. <laughs> Second question, Neil, if you could have a superhuman power, what will Gordon say you would want? Super strength. You would like super strength. Down to the blue lane, Casey, if you could have a superhuman power, what would Bree say you'd want? I think Bree would say I'd want to fly. You'd want to fly, the ability to fly. And a red team, Lenore, if you could have a superhuman power, what will Stephen say you would want? I think Stephen would say I'd like to fly. Really you'd, like fly. To, you'd like to fly. All right, we'll see if Stephen does say that. Last question, down to Casey and the blue team. If you could fill any room in your home with water, which room will Bree say you would fill up? Probably my bedroom. Your bedroom. You'd fill your bedroom with water. We'll see if Bree says that. Red Team Lenore, if you could fill any room in your home with water, which room will Stephen say you would fill? My bedroom. Your bedroom. And Neil, same question. If you could fill any room in your house with water, which one would Gordon say you would fill? Bedroom. Bedroom. We've got your answers. We're going to see if your teammates can match those for points. Coming up right after this. Please watch the front page. Don't miss it. <laughs> the fish aren't biting for a time for my secret bait, Bond. Ready for some match answers? Match answers to this round are worth one point. If the team with the most points at the end of three circles of our track, it gets to challenge our Kid Street picture puzzle and maybe win today's grand prize. Okay, Red Team, let's get started with you guys. Steven, where was Lenore born? Uh, Quebec. I'd say, I think she was born in Quebec. You think she was born in Quebec? Lenore, what did you say? Quebec. You did say Quebec. There's Quebec. Here's the first one of the game. Go for the Red Team. Over to the green team, Gordon, where was Neil born? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Winnipeg? You say Winnipeg? Neil, what did you say? Winnipeg. You did say Winnipeg. It took a while, but they match. There's the point for the green team. Over to the blue team. Bree, where was Kasia born? Well, I think she was born in Calgary because most of our family is. Most of your family was, and you think she was too. Kasia, where were you born? Calgary. Calgary, that's right. We have points right across the board. Everyone matched in the first question. Second question, we'll go to the center lane. Gordon, if Neil could have superhuman powers, what would he want? To... What specific superhuman power do you think Neil would really like to have? To, to fly? You think he'd like to fly? And Neil, what power did you say? Super strength. Super strength. He thought that might come in handy when he was opening jars of pickles. Let's go over to the blue lane. Bree, if Casey could have a superhuman power, which one would she want? Probably super strength. You think super strength. Casey, which one did you say? I said to fly. To fly. Casey thought it might be nice to fly. Then she'd know where her luggage was. Let's go to the red lane. Steven, if your sister Lenore could have a superhuman power, which one do you think she'd want? I think Lenore would want to be able to fly. You think she'd want to be able to fly? Lenore, which superhuman power did you mention? Flying. Flying, that's right. Second point for the red team. They're doing well in the first round. 
Last question, we'll go down to the blue lane on this one. Bree, if Kezia could fill any room in your home with water, which room would she fill with water? Probably mine. <laughs> you think she'd fill your room? And Kezia, which room did you say? I said my bedroom. Your bedroom? You guys don't share a bedroom, do you? No. no? Okay, not a match. No, too bad. Let's go to the red lane. Lenore, I'm sorry, Stephen, if Lenore could fill any room in your house with water, which room would she fill? I think she'd fill the bathroom. She filled the bathroom with water. And Lenore, which room did you say? My bedroom. Her bedroom. Oh, we didn't match on that one. Let's go to the center lane. Gordon, if Neil could fill any room in your house with water, which room would he fill? I think he would fill his bedroom. You say his bedroom. Which room did you say, Neil? My bedroom. You said your bedroom. That's right. There's a match for the green team. And we're going to take a little time and uh, catch our breath and cool our engines and meet our teams in depth. And we're going to start right in the red lane where, with Lenore and Stephen. And Lenore, why don't you take a few minutes and describe your brother Stephen to all of us watching today. Stephen's 10 years old. He likes baseball and fishing. And once he was fishing and he said he got this big fish on his line, he said, oh, this must be a big two-pounder. And it was, it was only a little fish and he couldn't really keep it because it wasn't over the limit. Oh, <laughs> so... He was fighting with a little tiny fish and telling a fish story before he got out of the water. <laughs> Stephen, have you caught big fish, though? Yeah. You have. Yes. How big? What's the biggest fish you caught? About five pounds. About five pounds. And how wide? About this long. Well, Lenore, does that get wider when he tells the story? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen, tell us about your sister, Lenore. Well, Lenore's ten. She likes to um, make finger knitting. She likes to make plastic bracelets. And she always gets hurt. She's got about five scars because she, um, when she's, she, once she got run over by a car and she uh, fell off a deck and she got her foot slammed in a door. Oh my goodness. Well, Lenore, all I have to say is be careful when you're here on the set. We don't need you falling out of your car, okay? Good luck in the upcoming rounds. Nice to have you on the show. Let's go to the green team where we have Neil and Gordon. And Neil, tell us about that guy beside you. He's nine years old. He's, he's pretty nice sometimes. He likes to um, play with his friends. He almost got earring once because MJ and Luigi got one. Just MJ because. and Luigi got one, so, yeah. so Gordon had to have one. Yeah, and he's, he always acts so macho in front of his friends. Oh, goodness. What sort of macho things do you do, Gordon? Beat me up. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> okay. Gordon, tell us about your brother, Neil. Yeah, he's 11 years old, and one time he, when we were going, he likes nothing. <laughs> but he doesn't play, but his favorite, he likes watching TV, his favorite show is Kids Street. And, um, well, one day we were walking home from school, and his hair was standing up in the back. And um, he was combing, and he, and he took his key, and then he tried to comb his hair with his key. With his key? <laughs> Neil, you, you couldn't tell the difference between a key and a comb? No, uh, we were far away from school and I forgot to comb my hair. I see, so you just grabbed the closest I'm thing. And I'm glad you weren't carrying a pet with you. <laughs> Good luck in the upcoming rounds. Let's go down to Kezia and Bree in the blue lane. Kezia, tell us about your sister Bree, please. My sister Bree is eight years old and her hobbies are playing soccer, bugging people, and. <laughs> She likes to play the piano. And when Brie was younger, we thought she was lost. And we went looking for her. And at that time, we shared a room. And I went up to her room, and I saw her sleeping in her bed. So she wasn't lost. She just went to bed early. Yeah. At and that really surprises parents, I'll tell you. When someone volunteers to go to bed, something's weird. Well, Brie, when you're not sleeping, why don't you just tell us about Kasia? She's is 11 years old, and she likes to play the piano and play soccer. And once when my mom and dad were out, oh, I was, we shared the room then, and I said I felt sick. And we told her, like, what we did is we poured water on the sheets five times and kept them changing them. And then our babysitter called our mom and dad, and they came home, and they got mad at us. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> so you wanted to get them home, so you faked being ill, and the babysitter finally got them home. 
Yeah. Do you, I guess you've never tried that again. Oh. No. No, I guess not. <laughs> well, listen, good luck in the upcoming rounds to score after one lap of the drop has the red team with two points. The green team with two points. And the blue team with one point. Coming up next is our second lap. Not the answers there with three points. So with that, I'll hit me right after this. We're back. It's time for our drivers today. To first, to see if the passengers to match their answers. If they do, they'll get three points for each matching answer. And Stephen will start this second turn of the track with you. What school will Lenore say you attend? Big Rock Elementary School. Big Rock Elementary. Down to the green team, Gordon. Which school will Neil say you attend? St. Rupert. St. Rupert. And down to the blue team, Bree. Which school will Casey say you attend? Well, I think um, Tweetia, because I might be going there. I might not. You might be going there, but you might not. And what school did you say? Tweetia. Okay, all right. Second question, Gordon, we'll start with you. If you could put a stamp on Neil's forehead and mail him anywhere in the world, where would he say you'd want to mail him? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. You'd like to mail him to Bulgaria. Down to the blue lane. Bree, if you could put a stamp on Kasia's head and mail her anywhere in the world, where would you mail Kasia? Probably to the North Pole. You'd mail her to the North Pole. And Stephen, if you could put a stamp on Lenore's head and mail her anywhere in the world, where do you think she'd say you'd mail her? I'd mail her to Fort Saskatchewan. Fort Saskatchewan. Last question, down to the blue line. Bree, what will Kasia say is your favorite kind of cheese? Probably cheddar cheese. Cheddar is your favorite cheese. Let's go to the red team. Stephen, what will Lenore say is your favorite kind of cheese? I think Lenore would say my favorite kind of cheese is mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is your favorite. We'll see if Lenore matches that. Down to the green team. Gordon, what do you think Neil will say is your favorite kind of cheese? Uh, brick. Brick. You like brick. Okay. Well, brick cheese, right. Okay, we'll see if Neil says brick for Gordon. We've got their answers. We're going to see if their teammates can match it for three big points, each matching answer. But right now, Kathy's going to tell us about today what all the contestants get to take home with them. Kathy. <laughs> we have some great parting gifts for our team together. Kid Street contestants take home the new Kid Street wristwatch and a Kid Street t-shirt in their team color. And they can kind of hang around at home playing their own Kid Street board game. Just for having all this fun with us today on Kid Street. Kevin. Thank you, Kathy. The board game is a lot of fun. All right, let's start this second lap in the red lane with Lenore and Stephen. Lenore, what school does Stephen attend? Big Rock School. Big Rock School. And Stephen, what school did you tell us? Big Rock. You oh, said Big Rock. That's right. Three points for Big Rock. Let's go to the center lane. Neil, what school does Gordon attend? St. Rupert. St. Rupert. And Gordon, what did you say? St. Rupert. You sure did. Yeah, there's three points for the green team. Down to the blue lane. Kasia, what school does Bree attend? I think Bree would say St. Catharines. You think she'd say St. Catharines? Bree, what did you say? Tweetia. Oh! She said she'd like to go to that school, and she thought maybe you knew that, that she's, she might attend it. Do you know about that school? Yeah. Yeah, but she doesn't go there right now? No. So you look pretty surprised. Yeah. <laughs> second question of this second lap. We'll start with the gentleman in the center lane, Neil. If Gordon could put a stamp on your forehead and mail you anywhere in the world, where do you think Gordon would send you? Pakistan. You say, <laughs> you say Pakistan? And Gordon, what did you say? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Two oh. distant places, but not a match on that one. Neil, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just think Bulgaria is an incredible place, I guess. <laughs> Let's go over to the blue lane. Casey, if Bree could attach a stamp to your forehead and mail you anywhere in the world, where do you think she'd send you? I think she'd probably send me to China. She'd send you to China. And Bree, where did you say? The North Pole. The North Pole. Somewhere a little colder. And let's go to the red lane and we'll ask Lenore this. Lenore, if your brother Stephen can attach a stamp to your forehead and mail you anywhere in the world, where do you think he'd send you? I think he sent me to China because he, he just wants me far away from him. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you far away? Yeah. Stephen, where did you say? Fort Saskatchewan. Fort Saskatchewan. <laughs> Stephen, is, is that far away? Well, it's about four hours. Four hours. Well, that's far enough, I guess, if you want to have your sister far away. 
Last question of this second lap will go down to the ladies in blue this time. Kasia, what is Bree's favorite kind of cheese? I think her favorite kind of cheese is cheddar cheese. You say cheddar cheese. Bree, what did you say? Cheddar. Cheddar, you did say cheddar. <laughs> Kasia, how did you know she likes cheddar? Well, we are allergic to milk, and that's the only kind of cheese we can eat. <laughs> well, that sure narrows down the field, doesn't it? You're allergic to milk, so you can only eat cheddar. That's interesting. I didn't know people who had the uh, allergy to milk could eat cheddar. We learned something today. Let's go down to the red lane. Lenore, what is Stephen's favorite kind of cheese? Cheese slices. Cheese slices. And Stephen, what did you say? Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. They didn't match that. Cheese slices. That's, that's where they come individually wrapped? Yeah. I see, right. Okay, well, we didn't match on that one. Let's go to the green lane. Neil, what is Gordon's favorite kind of cheese? Uh, cheddar. You say cheddar. Gordon, what did you say? Brick cheese. Brick cheese. Brick cheese. That's a good cheese. Okay. Neil, is there a problem? Yeah, because um, brick and cheese is usually in cheddar cheese. Yeah, it's the same thing. Well, there's a brick cheese and there's a cheddar, and sometimes they mix them together and it's called a marble, but we couldn't call that a match. Okay? That's the cheeses of the world, ladies and gentlemen. The score after two circles of the track has the red team with five points. The green team's got five points. And the blue team's got four points. Coming up next, a bonus question. Don't miss that. That's fun on Kid Street. Okay, it's bonus question time. We're going to see if our teams can match it. It's with five points. If they do, let's ask Lenora the bonus question first. Who in your family will Stephen say slams the doors the most? I think Stephen would say my mom. You think <laughs> Stephen would say mom slams the doors the most? All right, let's go over to Neil in the green lane. Neil, who in your family will Gordon say slams the doors the most? Danny. Danny slams the doors the most. And down to the blue lane, Kasia, who in your family will Bree say slams the doors the most? I think she'll say my little brother, Sean. Your little brother, Sean. All right, we've got your answers. We're going to see if your teammates can match it for five big points. But right now, Kathy's going to remind us, because we have short memories, what today's grand prize is. Kathy? Okay, Kevin, today's grand prize, the fabulous Nintendo action set, a power jack hockey game, a radio-controlled Sunrunner speedboat, a slimline telephone, matching Furio sports tops, a Bushnell 1200 power microscope kit, a $200 gift certificate from Toys and Wheels, and Super Cycle Mountain Bikes. One for each of our winners. How about that, Kevin? Great list. That's perfect. All right, teams, let's get down to this bonus round. We're going to start in the blue lane. Ladies, you have four points. You're in last place, but if you correctly match this, you'll jump to nine points and be in the lead. Bree, who in your family slams the doors the most? My brother, Sean. Your brother, Sean. Casey, who did you say? My brother, Sean. You sure did. There's five points. I did you score. You're now in the lead with nine points. We'll come down to the red team. Lenore and Stephen, you have five points. You're tied for second place. But if you correctly match this, you'll jump into the lead with ten points. Stephen, who in your family slams the doors the most? My brother, Ryan. Your brother, Ryan. Lenore, who did you say? Um, my mom. Mom! Oh, we got two door slammers in the family, not a match. Let's go over to the green team. Guys, you're tied for second place. But if you correctly match this, you could win today's race with ten points. Gordon, who in your family slams the door the most? My brother Danny. Your brother Danny. Neil, who did you say? Danny! You sure did win today's race with ten points. Congratulations, green team. Casey and Bree, Lenore and Steven, thanks for being on the show. We had a lot of fun with you guys. Neil and Gordon are going to try to solve the rebus right after this. This guy during that very exciting race where your brother Danny slams the doors, you earn 10 points. And we put those 10 points into our Kid Street computer. It randomly selected 10 squares, and this is what they reveal. Now, because you won today's race, you get five more squares to reveal more puzzle. What would you like to choose? Four. Four is one of them. Nine. Nine is another. Three more. Um, 25. 25. Two more. Oh, no, I'm going to do this. Um, 17. 22 and 17. Okay, 23 and 22. 22. Yeah. 22 and 17 are your last two choices, all right. And Gordon and Neil, you've got 20 seconds to solve today's picture puzzle starting now. Harry Hill. Harry Hill. Oh, guys.
guys, you were so close. We're going to add 10 seconds to the clock and see if you can do it with that. We'll need some help from you guys. Behind each second is a prize. So the faster you solve it, the more prizes you will win. Your 10 seconds start now. Stop the clock. That's what it is, a hair-raising experience. You got eight great prizes, guys. Today you have won Ghostbusters, Table Hockey, Model Kit, Transformers, Roller Cop, Mechanics, Babble, Ninja Turtles. All right. Terrific. Come on up there and have some fun. Thanks for your help on this one. We had fun. Did you solve it? No? Did you solve it? Did you have it solved? They were very close. Listen, we're going to have to say goodbye. You can see join us every day when we're having fun. Where are we having all this fun? Thank you, bye-bye. Plan your next convention at the Marlboro Inn with its many unique facilities, a full-size pool, exercise area, fine restaurants, or an evening's worth of entertainment at the Marquee Comedy Dinner Theater. Perfect results and perfect service when you stay at the Marlboro Inn. Most prizes featured on Kid Street come from Toys and Wheels, Canada's number one toy store. If you want to be in toy heaven, get to your nearest Toys and Wheels store for the largest selection of toys. Coming up next, a junk man invents the ultimate mouse trap, a robot cat named Tom, programmed with old video game cartridges on Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers here on 2 and 7. <laughs>